yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am the heart of a champion. Heart of a champion, yeah, yeah. It's my time, it's my place, it's my destiny. No one can take away what was meant for me. Me granny say, what for you can be and feel. No man never see where God planned for you, yeah. The best is yet to come. If I believe I can, I will. No holding back, no giving in. Cause I know I was, I was, I was, I was, I was born to win. Was born to win. class are you ladies representing? 2BPB. Congratulations, you're on the principal's honor roll. How does it feel? Well, for me, it feels really good. It shows that all my hard work has been recognized. Judel? Well, it was really, it is really good. Um, the hard work really pays off and they staying up late. So I'm really happy. Prashana, did you go to bed early or is the staying up late thing real? I went to bed late at night times because I didn't have the internet home, so I have to use phone. And sometimes it, I get discouraged, but by the grace of God, I try to do my best. Jenny, all of these, um, your classmates have said that they had to stay up late. What time did you go to bed in order to make it on the honor roll? I don't really sleep at night. I'm the night person who stays up. I like to do my work at, at that time. I feel more comfortable. And it was really a challenge to like get everything together, helping my classmates as well. So it shows that teamwork really helps to make it possible. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. My name is Tashi Kwesi. My name is Tashika Gordon. My name is Yenny Fair. My name is Amoy Pina. Congratulations, ladies. You are on the principal's honor roll. How does it feel? Aesthetic. Lovely. Yannick, all the other persons were talking about how hard they had to study, they couldn't sleep at night. What is your formula? My formula, well, firstly, I have to entertain myself. You have to find some gap where you have recreational activity. Don't just go and pick up the books. Firstly, enjoy yourself. Have time for play and pleasure. Amoy, is that your formula as well? Well, no. I like to sleep. I honestly love to sleep. When I sleep, it relaxes me. My, my brain is at rest and I'm, in it, I'm able to concentrate. And that makes it easier for me to focus and to do well. Sash, what do you do? Well, I text a lot and I use social media a lot. So when I do this, I feel free from stress. So I do this and then I sleep and then I do my crochet. Tashik, what is your formula? Okay, I may not do what Sashika does, but for me, I listen to a lot of music. And yes, I do go on Facebook at times, and that relaxes me. Well, I guess the saying is, all work and no play means you don't get on the principal's honor roll. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sashana Miller, and I'm completing an associate degree in hospitality and tourism management. I am majoring in travel and tour. You are the top performer for the associate degree group. How do you feel? 
Well, I, I feel elated and I can tell you that I am also surprised. And when you work hard, it's good that it is paying off. It's like a motivation to continue working harder. What would you say to others in your group? Um, I, would, I would tell them that it um, get rocky at times and sometimes you feel like giving up. Sometimes you feel as if you're not doing not enough. But just continue. Don't give up. Be patient. Work hard. Pray. And also do research. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. I am Shaliba Nephew. I am Shana K. Muggins. I am Royalee Lynch. Congratulations, ladies. You are on the Principal's Honor Roll. Thank you. All three of you, this is your first time on the Principal's Honor Roll. Taliba, how did you achieve this? Well, I have decided to work much harder. Last year, I was on honor mention, and I decided that I'm not going to settle there. I'm going to reach for the sky. So I was being motivated by many persons, these two girls here, and Jason Rowe, and a lot more persons. Shadow, what was your inspiration? Well, with my sister being my motivator, she was always there with me. We studied together. If it's coursework, we do the coursework together. And I believe that that's, that is one of my greatest achievements, working with my sister. And I am so proud that we both made it to the principal's honor roll this year. Royline, I see you all smiles. It's a good feeling being here. What would you say to others? Well, I believe that whatever you want, you can achieve it. So all you have to do is work hard and have determination. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Congratulations, ladies. You are on the principal's honor roll. Thank you. And which class are you representing? 4BPB. I'm to understand that your class has the largest number of recipients of honorary commendation and the principal's honor roll. Judith, what is the formula? The formula? Well, I would say that the formula for 4VPV is working together as a group. No, we ensure that uh, in our quest for high academic excellence, we do not leave anyone behind. Kimalin, it's your first time. How does it feel? Words cannot explain. I feel, I feel really great about this. It is truly a wonderful feeling. Some of you are repeat, I don't want to say offenders, but it's not, you're used to this, right? So, Sasha, what does it feel like completing three years of, of doing well? Well, I'm feeling really, really excited, knowing that I have worked hard, knowing that I am not the type of person who would consider as bright, but I work hard, and to know that I could be recommended three years, I'm feeling super happy. Levi, what is it that you do to relax? Well, I love singing, so I use that as my method to soothe the mind, and Afterwards, I can go and read, as I love reading as well, and socializing. So those are my three things I enjoy to do. Owens, how does it feel for you? It's a wonderful feeling. Words cannot explain how I'm feeling right now. I must thank God for this another opportunity for being on the principals and our own. Yay! <laughs> Lakeisha, who in your family motivates you? Well, the person in my family who motivates me is my father, Delroy Lawrence Robinson. He is my motivator because he did not receive a tertiary education, so he ensured that the five of his children, including me, is given the best opportunity to get the education that we need. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Congratulations, ladies. You are on the principal honor roll. How does it feel? Well, for me, I feel really happy knowing that it's my second time around and it's my final year. So I feel extremely happy. And thank you. Nicole? I am also happy. And since it's my final year, the hard work has paid off. So 
happy to be on it. Another interesting thing is that both of you are friends and very close friends. Do you help to push each other? Yes, we do. When, for when we see each other wanting to get laid back at it, we say, come on, it's time to work. We can't be laid back at this point. We've come too far, so we have to continue. Nicole, what advice would you give to other students to succeed? To work hard, have faith in Jesus, pray before doing an exam, pray before doing a coursework, and help others. Helping others help. When you help others, it also helps you. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am Kenny Taylor. I am Audrey Levy. I am Ernst Edwards. And which class are you representing? 2BBA. Congratulations, ladies. You're on the principal's honor roll. Shanice, how does it feel? It feels awesome to be on the principal's honor roll. I came here as a new student, new to the institution and everything. And um, I saw the list last year and I was so inspired. And I felt like this year I should be on it. And I'm happy that I made it. Audrey, what is your inspiration? My inspiration is my family. I really want to succeed. I want to do the best I can so that I could be an inspiration to them. Erlise, what's your inspiration? Well, my inspiration is my family and God. I want my parents to be proud. I am coming from a struggling background. And I believe in God and I believe in myself that through Christ I can do all things. What advice would you give to a mature student, Audrey, starting college, that they can do well to and make it under, in their first year on the principles on a roll? At first, you just have to be focused. You're at school, you're here for a purpose, just be focused. Whatever you have left behind, just leave it for the moment and focus on what you have to do at school. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Congratulations, Renisha. You are on the principal's honor roll. How does it feel? Exciting. I feel so amazing. So proud of myself. Who is the proudest of you here at college, do you think? Here at college, she's standing right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Whitney Ann. She's like my partner in crime. She's always motivating me when I'm feeling down. She's, she's my right hand. What are you going to miss, this being your final year about Bethlehem? Honestly, I am going to miss a sports day. Everybody knows I'm a cheerleader for life. I'm going to miss coming down on Mondays and going down to the dorm with Whitney to watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta and then starting to do some coursework. So I'm going to miss those things. Well, the college is extremely proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Samantha. Another year on the principal's honor roll. How do you feel? In a word, elated. Samantha, this is your fourth and final year in college. What are some of the ways in which you've changed over the years? Change. Well, I think my most significant change is that I am a bit more outspoken in comparison to when I first came here in 2013. What advice would you give to other students? Advice. Um, no matter how tough it may become, at times you never give up. No matter the amount of courses, the number of coursework pieces, the number of exams. Just remember why you're here. You're here to get a degree and never lose sight of that goal. Congratulations, Samantha. Thank you. Congratulations, Whitney. Your third consecutive year on the Principal's Honor Roll, the only student to have achieved that in this cohort. How do you feel? Well, honestly, I feel fulfilled and accomplished. Thank you. Who is Whitney Ann? Well, for many, uh, I'm a quiet person, a very laid back person. I am a family person and I'm a Christian. Yes, so. You see, what you see is honestly who I am, quiet and laid back. What were some of the things that drove you to work hard? 
Well, for me, the number one motivator, the number one driving force behind me is my mother. Like coming from a single parent home, she's the one who motivated me. She's the one who believed in me and she's the one who's investing in me. So I have to make her proud. So I'm not just doing this for myself, but I'm doing this for my mother. What advice would you give to other students who think, oh, you're special, you're extra bright, it can't happen for them? Hey, you know what you have, you know what you bring to the table. So it's just to improve upon it. There are areas that I am short and I am not a genius. I work hard. So for you, it's just to know what you have and to find others around you who are able to pick you up when you're not feeling like you're at your utmost best. So find others who compliment you and just believe in yourself and work hard. It can be done. What are some of the things you do to relax? To relax. Well, like Renisha said earlier, I am a housewife of Atlanta fan. So that is one thing you'll catch me watching. I love reality movies. I love music. So at any time I might be there doing my work, I might be studying, my earphone is always in my ears. So it's either some reality form of TV or music. Congratulations, Whitney. Thank you.